And welcome back to Life is Strange 2. Together. Brothers. Sean and Daniel have made fire. And can enjoy the fruits of their labor. Such as crackers, it looks like. And bottled water, maybe. That kind of supply doesn't seem like it'll last forever. Wish we had more. I know. Me too. I wish we had a cheeseburger and a milkshake like yesterday. Oh, dude. That shake was so good. Can't believe we found a diner on the way out here. <laughs> I want another one. I know. Also, I wonder okay. how long their finances are going to hold out too. Since uh, he only got $20 from his dad. That's my quote of cookies for the year. I'm sure you're burning that energy, actually. Good I took those and not the beers. Uh. Man, this is the coolest secret base ever. Man, I made a fire tonight. This. That would be proud. Look, a full moon. Ooh. <laughs> it's not quite full yet, wolf boy. Do you think? There are werewolves for real? We are Dude, the wolves. Have you seen the loading wolves. screen? Oh. See? Oh, oh. Also, uh, doing this kind of activity oh, oh, oh. might actually lure actual wolves because you're in the forest. Um, so you might want to hold back. Just, just saying. Also, that phone is likely dead, if I had to guess. Still no reception. Um, okay. Of course. Oh. So they can't actually get any updates. So... Ugh, sick at both ends. That sounds pretty awful. And, yeah, him and his brother really should be talking to the Seattle Police Department. Like, running from their problems is not going to solve anything. I wish I could talk to you, but my parents say that I can't for legal reasons. My mom is a lawyer and says we can't be involved, and that you can't contact me again. Huh. Although, I, uh, considering the nature of the crime, it's hard to, like, it's hard to tell what actually happened. Officer Tanaka of the South Seattle Police Department. Because if it escalates past this, things can get really bad. Looks like a lot of people are worried about him. Oh, he actually responded to Lila. Um, his dad was shot and he left. Can't... Although I suppose, again, I think I mentioned in a previous episode, everybody deals with trauma in a different fashion. <sighs> Though I think Sean is making things a lot worse. Okay, I think Eric has had too much to drink already. 
uh, at that point. And it looks like nobody else has kind of... You're going to tap Murphy? Is Jen's last name Murphy? It's hard to tell. Unknown. Hmm. And then I've got the blanket. Oh yeah, got the blanket from home. A weed pipe for some reason, and the diner receipt, which was twelve dollars and ninety cents, which definitely limits uh, the actual amount of money I have, which is ten bucks. That's not going to go very far. And the condoms. Yeah. <clears throat> Ooh, I can customize my bag. Got patches, and I can make my bag hung. To equip... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Do I have access to any of these? Ah, I can toss on the Arcadia Bay stuff. And, yeah, why not? Because it seems I can't use any of these yet. There's the map. It must, it must suck to live on Lame Avenue. All blurry. I'm bored. Sean, can I play Mustard Party on your phone? Please. <sighs> There's probably very limited charge. No reception, so go for it. Yeah. Oh, I'm so gonna beat your score. Now, Mustard Party being directly related to Hot Dog Man, of course. Almost. Almost. The phone runs out of battery. What? No! Nope, he just loses. I'm so gonna beat your score. You wish. That was, that was really fast. You okay, buddy? <clears throat> yeah. Feels good to sit down. Sean? Are you mad at me for what happened with Brett? I don't remember everything. Clearly. I can't say nothing happened because that's not true. We got into a fight, which definitely happened. But it is still not his fault. It's not your Brett is definitely kind of an happens. asshole, as, but kind of, uh, definitely an asshole if he's going to be like, remember. I'm just going to um, beat up this small child for uh, making, worry, for having an accident. You were running around all day. You tired out. It happens. And thusly, this is Daniel's interpretation of trauma. He cannot even remember the uh, act that took, uh, took his father's life. Got a wallet. We're almost broke. Yep. How do we eat tomorrow? We I'm don't. So Wonder if I'll ever go back to school after this. Probably not. Huh. You look tired. Ready to crash? Uh, I think I need to go to the bathroom. I knew it. Okay. If you have to pee, then go. You want me to come? No, I'm not a baby. I'm not a baby. Dude, not that close. <laughs> you have to sleep here. I wasn't. I was trying to find somewhere to go. 
And then he just pisses on the fire. Dude, we need that for heat. He's like, ah, oh, all right. Use the water bottle. You might need to drink that later when we're broke. I swear. Yeah, it's a forest. There's a lot of critters out there. Scared you might pee on them? Shut up. I didn't. I think we earned some serious rest. I could sleep forever. Not on this ground. <sighs> better than freezing out there, right? Way better. Now we have a real fire. And Not like that basement. kind of fake fire you see on TV. You did awesome today, Daniel. Really? Hell yeah. Yeah, you're like a a real wilderness expert. <sighs> That's cool. I mean, like, not as cool as me, because I ate all those berries in order to test that they were good. But, like, that's how you, like, uh, if a taste, if, if a berry tasted good, you, you know it's uh, not bad for you. It's, uh, it's just part of uh, wilderness exploration. Um, that fire is not pulsing out of its own control. Dad, where are we? Daniel? Hey, bro, wake up. Huh? Sean? What happened? Where's Dad? It's okay. You... You just had a bad dream. That's all. Sean? Where... Where are we? Right here. In the park. Remember our amazing fire? Um... Yeah? Are we okay? No. We're, we are we're not okay. I'm right here. Don't worry. Okay. And the more we believe that we're okay, we are likely only going to get less okay. But I might have another scary dream. You won't. I'm here. Just... Just close your eyes. Thanks, Sean. I'm glad you're here. Good night, Daniel. Huh. Although this makes me wonder how, where this is going to go. Are, there, are they eventually going to have to leave the wilderness? Maybe... ...be confronted by something greater than Choco Crisps for them to steal? Will the police show up? Uh, probably eventually the police are going to show up because they're definitely looking uh, for these two kids. But then, again, like, what exactly caused Daniel it's to explode? Now. We're going downhill. We just gotta keep walking. Uh, yeah, that's better. Hey, maybe we'll find a milkshake shop. Ah, oh, yes. A forest secret milkshake factory. <laughs> <laughs> keep dreaming, dude. I was just about to say Let's milkshake factory. He stole the words right out of my mouth. Buy food. I'm sure of it. We'll buy all the oh, riches that $10 remember can get that us. Time Harry Thompson wanted to beat me up. Me and Noah traded some games with Harry. But he didn't like us, so he said he was going to get us after school. What did you do? We waited in the gym until he went home. That's it? You should have told me. I tried. But you said to get out of your room. Uh, it's a gas station. You did stand up for me. Brett, for a change. Yeah. Well. Hey, there's something ahead. Yep. Must be the gas station we saw on that sign. Awesome. 
I'm so hungry for real food right now. I'm so hungry I could eat at Arby's. We're gonna get food, water, and plus a map, so we can find the best route. All right. Hey, come on. I know last night was tough, but tonight will be better. I you swear. Need... Okay, yeah. so first we should check out how much a map costs. Why can't I just steal this tape? And that frisbee. Utah? You're a long way from home, dude. And those birds. How can someone drive with this mess? Those slobs. With their multiple rolls of tape and their water jug. Sean, can we find some food? Uh, no, we need to inspect license plates. Yeah, we need to... Plates. Maybe they can help us. How? Sean, you sure it's okay to poke around? Yeah, it's a bear. actual money doing this? The answer is potentially yes. And really, that's what it's about. It's about potentially making money. Damn. Why do they let this rust out here? I know Dad would be able to fix it. Yeah. Maybe not that one, dude. He has to finish your car first. Yeah. I know. Yeah, somebody left their soda behind. Or their empty can. At least Daniel gets a little Halloween spirit. Shall we look at this family? It's weird. This will be my first Halloween away from home. Can't even check my goddamn voicemail here. There's nothing to do here. When do we leave? Hmm. Hey, Sean. <laughs> Knock there on. might be some leftovers in it. Fuck, is this our life now? Jeez, you're so not funny, Sean. Oh, I was supposed to look at Daniel. Whoops. I was busy looking at the awesome. trash can, so cool. which was uh, much more interesting than Daniel. Think about ice. And what do we got on the newspaper? Not even want to grab the free newspaper. Oh, shit, they're still looking for us. We can't go back. Because, yeah, I can... That is a hot-button issue for this episode. Can't let Daniel know. Not right now. It's a good thing that kid doesn't read. Because then uh, we'd be screwed. Free puppy? We'll get that free puppy. It'll be dinner tomorrow. Nachos and cerveza? Oh, you sound like an expert douchebag. Hey, look. They're gonna teach us Spanish. Este tipo es un idiota. Wildlife poster. I'm fine. I'm too young. In case of cougar attack, throw a 20-year-old male. See, now I could have, uh... Hello there. Whoa! Hey. Sean! They have Shaco Crisp! You promised I'd get one. Let's see... It's two bucks for a Choco Crisp. New generation. 
perfect. We should be able to find our way with this. Go on. It's actually free. Cool. Thanks. It's a real nice map. Excellent. You'll find lots of great hiking trails around here. All right. So we got a map. Um. Now here's the thing. I could have um. God, this is the coolest thing ever. I could have Daniel beg for food, or I cannot. But there, but he's not going to starve because I know that the story has to progress no matter what. No. We don't have money for that. You'll have to get your power bear action figure elsewhere. I bet the prize is so cool. It's a power bear action figure. So it's two dollars for a Choco Crisp. But we also need water. Oh, man. That is so, cool. so a water bottle is four fifty. Soda is cheaper than water. What kind of uh soda is three fifty? A bottle of water is four fifty. What kind of rates are these? After the forest. These this is price gouging, Back folks. Sliced bread is five ninety. What part of the country charges uh, six dollars for like for sliced bread? Lila would love that. I'm too nervous to drink any coffee. Do not drink that coffee. If you like coffee. So two hot dogs is six bucks. Why the fuck not? So I can't afford two hot dogs and water. Let's see. Mac and cheese is four fifty. Tent is clearly out of my price range. Well, I'm actually doing research. It's, uh, not for you. Starts with an a. Why? Like dirty a stuff? Letters. Yeah. It's, uh, Forget it. Ah, stuff. it's a puppy. I'm nine years Only old. four letters. I know these kind of things. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you do. What's your name? Daniel. Hi, Daniel. I'm Brody. All right, so let's add... Can't go wrong with these. Or that to the basket. Oh. Wait, why did we get... We got a pine cone and leaves? Okay, must be a nice job. Kinda, yeah. Okay, so that's two bucks. I wonder if I have to worry about... Um... Let's pick up a sticker. My on Papa Road Cred. There we go. All right. So that leaves me with eight dollars and thirty cents. Now, if I get the soda, which is three fifty, And the mac and cheese, which is four fifty. That would be eight dollars. Because the water bottle would be too expensive. And we should at least get some food. Now are there any other food options that I may have missed? Um what's that? Ooh, a puppy. Yep. Jenny will scarf this down. Cute. Looks like it's mac and cheese and soda time for this trip. Oh, At least it's got a lot of sugar. Keep our energy up. Hey, check out the puppy. All right. 
Let's discuss the puppy. Ah, it's yeah, puppy. It's a dog. Oh, a puppy. I'm very sure. disappointed by Sean's lack Super of enthusiasm. You ready? Is this yours? No, just another stray mutt. Aww, he must be sad. What's his name? That's a she. Oh, right. Oh, can we have the puppy? We we don't Please? need a no. We, we we're not Sorry, gonna take man. this puppy. No way we're taking a dog with us. We need adults to take care of her. Exactly. Not kids. No, See? you don't have to. You don't Sorry, have to have to be that. so hard on Let's the kid, go. but still. Like, Yeesh. Who sends postcards? Boring. Looks like you're all set to go. Is that it? That's yeah. it. I think so. Okie dokie. Let's ring you up. Luckily, it seems I don't There's think I damage. have to worry about tax. Oh. That was $9.99? Oh, but I have ten dollars and thirty cents anyway, so here. Thanks much. And All that right, number drops. Cool. Thirty one cents. We're gonna have some mac and cheese. How am we gonna even cook this mac and cheese? I don't even know. Let's grab it and check out this map. Yes, before any other people show up. Yay. A fucking half eaten apple. Yeah. Could be worse. If we don't eat it, nobody will. There's the other- well, maggots. Maggots will eventually eat it. Maybe. It's our table now. <laughs> yep. Entropy will Let's eat the see. apple. What do we got here? We're eating leftovers from strangers? I know yes. Again. We can't afford it. But it'll get better. I swear. Really? You got me a choco crisp? Of course I did. Are you guys lost? Uh, nah, we're good. Right on. Pro tip don't feed the bears. <laughs> See you later. That's a big map. Yeah, hope I can read it. Big map for big kids. Is so where are we going anyway? Washington? And at what point it. is uh, yeah. Daniel going to be Me. saying like, hey, how are we going to get we back to home? In there. Hey, I know. We're here. There's a gas station. See? Nah, no way. We were near Mount Rainier yesterday. But it's miles away now. Let me show you where we are, okay? Yeah, okay. We so we're... that trout trail thing. Then we walked south for a while. Uh, uh, so trout trail. So are we... All right. This is it. Are you sure? Yes, it is. It's next to the river we camped by yesterday. Here we are. Okay, so... Can we go there tonight? Are you kidding? It's way too far. You want to walk a whole week again? Aww. But it looks cool. Hold on. I'll find where we can go. Hey, kids. <sighs> Looks like you're out camping. Oh, yeah. Just going over trails and stuff. 
Seems dangerous to be out here all alone. All alone by herself. Huh? Perhaps I could watch over you. We don't tolerate shoplifters. Uh, sir, we paid for this. And the map was free. Well, let's go inside. You can show us what you bought. Uh, no. Dude, Thanks. go away. We have to go. Nope. You're going inside. No. Don't make this worse for yourself, kid. Oh, I will. Don't I have a receipt on me? Uh, excuse us, sir. We were just hiking, I swear. Then let's find out if you're telling the truth. And if Come you're, uh, if I am, then uh, you're gonna pay to up for going. bothering me. Sean? Uh, it, it's okay. Look, our, our like dad who is, is this us. jerk? Okay, you can call him from our phone. Now let's go. Don't touch me. Don't do it, boy. Let go. Uh, who are these mother. people in this game? Just backhanding children when they feel like it. Mmm. So he knows that we are the fugitives of a note, which means the money that I spent on the chocolate crisp doesn't really matter anyway. And it also doesn't matter that I didn't steal anything because I would end up getting kidnapped uh, anyway. Oh shit, Daniel! No, no, no! Don't do this to me. We were so. going to be off of your property. I'll let you deal with it. Oh. Hey there. You finally awake? Sorry I had to secure you. I don't know. Why did you... And how are you innocent? How's your stomach? I'm gonna tell the police you kidnapped me. Nice try, but I know who you are and what you did in Seattle. What do you know? Paper. Maybe I should call ICE to make sure you're a citizen. Uh, as if this guy has to double down on being an asshole. Watch it, punk. Whatever. I'm going to jail for this. Pretty sure the local police will vouch for me over a thug like you. Where's my brother? Wish I knew. Little shit took off. I'll find him. Don't worry. If you touch him, you think I'd hurt a little boy? You already you did. Didn't have any second thoughts about leading him out into the middle of nowhere, though? You, you already backhanded him. Safe for a little kid. <sighs> He's lucky. He won't end up like his criminal big brother. Just let me go, please. You're the reason we need to build that wall. You hold tight. Oh my God. I'm gonna go get your brother. All right. Shit. These guys deserve no respect. Shit. Uh, something I can. Slide this on. Uh, office window. Office computer storage. Yeah, that's what I thought. Fuck. Nope. Yeah, nice screensaver, though. Um. Let's look at the window. Daniel must be scared shitless. I can't leave him out there. Okay. Looks like he's gone for now. So I can't do anything with. Wonder if I could get more light from it. Uh, 
If I kick the chair, will that... Nope, impossible. Impossible. Cardboard tube, I can push that maybe? And that helps me... Yeah, it's the bear. I can push this sign over. So now I got a little bit of room. Yeah, we get it. They really like that bear. reading the same magazines as oh yeah this racist shithead is a real pillar of the community all right a model citizen daniel i'm right here are are you okay i, I, I think so that old guy chased me into the woods but i, I think i lost him is he gone i'm really really scared <laughs> hey Emmanuel, you're doing great you totally fooled them. Thanks to you, we have a chance of getting out of here. Yeah? Yeah. We gotta hurry, though. He called the cops on us. Think, dude. There's gotta be a way out of here. <sighs> Maybe the... Like, the back door seems like it would be too obvious, but the office door is obviously too obvious like the window seems like it would be a huge pain in the ass there's a window over there maybe you can find a way in or something So what's It is. But be careful. It might attract him. How is that neon sign better? Sean? What's going on? I'm trying to get the hell out of here. I almost got it, bro. Just hold on. Hey, you think you can open the back door? I don't know. Ah, uh, the back door is locked. As expected. It won't open. It's locked. What do I do? Of course, and the keys are inside the building. But I should be able to kick the... Right. I need something to break this shit. Okay, Daniel. I see some keys, but I can't reach them. Maybe I can get them if I can pry this pipe off the wall. Can you find some kind of tool out there? I don't know where one is. File in the workshop. I think I saw a big file thing in the workshop. Yeah, with all it's, those bear sculptures. It's a I good thing I wandered around. around okay. Because then I might not have noticed that. All right. Now, how are you going to... Ah, through the vent. That's convenient. Is this, what you this is it. You rule, Daniel. Come on. Let's do this. And... Yes! 
I'm free. Good job, bro. Kind of. Oh, I'm still attached to the pipe. Oh, but I've lost the backpack. Hmm. Then I need to pick up the keys, slide it over to Sean. Here, here. Come on. Okay. Hold on. Come on. Yes. Sean. Oh god. I was so scared. To your face. That yeah. Happen. Okay. We need to cut this off fast. How about these? Dude, Brock. Excellent. No way. I'm invisible. I was the master hey. of stealth. Okay. Yeah, oh, and my backpack was just right over there. My stuff and go. That was fast. Daniel, what, what happened? What? What did you do? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what happened. It's okay. He used his psychic powers. Isn't that clear? Steel camping gear. You fucking little spick. You and your brother are going to jail for the rest and of And kick the old man a couple times. Uh. I told you to leave us alone. Sean, what are you doing? Daniel, come on. We gotta get out of here. I did tell him to leave us alone. Come on. Come on. Wait. Shit. But at the very least, we Where scored some camping gear. So, uh, uh, Sean, overall plus. Watch out. Over there. L let's go. I don't know. What are you doing out here, man? You almost scared the shit out of me. You guys okay? No, look okay. That asshole at the gas station. You're fucking crazy. He tied me up in his back office. I swear to you. Say no more. I believe you, okay? Shit's crazy out in the woods. Get in, you too. Yeah. Yeah, uh, he's the guy with his, uh. Oh, going in a ride for uh, with another stranger. Although, now the question is, where is this guy taking us? Damn, that is crazy. And I thought I was having a shitty day. I knew that guy was sketchy. Did he mess with you too? He started too earlier, but I bought too much stuff. Just to uh. him off. Welcome to Redneck Land. That's he gave too Seattle. much of his money. We only lived in one place my whole life. Kind of lame. 
right. Well, you're pretty on Lame Street. You have time. That's what's great about traveling. It gives you perspective. Sometimes maybe too much. And he's got a hanger with well, no clothes on it. Little dude. You're going to meet some amazing people on the road too. Oh. What's under the blanket? Come on, Did he I'm take the puppy? He took the puppy. Daniel. What? We saved her. <laughs> We're heroes. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose we're heroes. So, what should her name be? Oh my gosh, that is a wide maw. Hey, your dog. Your choice. Oh, cool. Let's see. Um. Mm, Bridezilla. Oh. Space mission. Mushroom. Oh, that is. Totally looks like a mushroom. Okay, m I was coming up. That's not even a name. Oh, I was coming up with terrible mean. names, but... But, I love mushroom. And you said it was my choice. Uh, okay, okay. That is an awful okay. choice. <laughs> but this one's on you. Ooh, yeah. Thanks, big brother. See, mushroom, you got the best name ever now. Oh, mushroom. my God. <laughs> mushroom. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I feel like I just witnessed history. You're on your way to becoming official road warriors, my dudes. Hmm. Although I have a feeling the good times, they surely cannot last. Sounds like you've been on the road for a long time. Long, boring story short. I come from a family with money. But... No soul. I took off after school and never looked back. Now I write stories for zines and websites, do podcasts, protest, try to make some positive change. Yeah. Whatever. Wow. So you're like all political. Everything is political, Sean. Even this game is political. How do you... How do you make money? <laughs> Spoken like a real American. <laughs> Just curious. Now that we're urban nomads too, if you have any tips. I sell shit. Like a good capitalist. Stories when I can. eBay when I can't. My biggest expense is gas and food, so it's easy. Hmm. Hey, no matter what, so, I just try not to get cynical. when was the last time any of these three took a shower? I'd be like my family. End of the day, we have to watch out for each other, right? Yeah, you did watch out for us. Also, did Daniel steal Seriously. dog food? Because that would have been useful. And the dog will want something other than soda to drink. Looks like your brother crashed hard. He always goes right to sleep in cars. Yeah, and feel free to do the same. I won't take it personally. What about you? You okay to drive? Oh yeah. And this also, where are you going? Time to drive. drive At night. By night is kind of in the rain. Mysterious. With the faint glow of the laptop screensaver to keep you company. And also a puppy. The North Oregon Coast, three hours later.
Okay, have we reached a destination of sorts? Also, I kind of like the uh, their little visualization of wind. like the edge of the world wait hmm. is this Arcadia or maybe I'm just gonna be constantly looking for Arcadia through each of these episodes because it was mentioned at the uh, beginning of this game Arcadia hey, Bay that is listen I know what happened with you guys in Seattle do you want to talk about it I'm a good listener. It's your call. No pressure. I think they should talk about I, it. I don't even know what happened. Okay, I don't even have a choice so in that fast. matter. I was going to... If... It was all my fault. Daniel wanted to play zombie, and of course I told him to get lost, and our asshole neighbor was picking on him, and I freaked out. So Dad came out to help. Somebody called the cops, and... They killed my dad in front of me. It's all my fucking fault. All I had to do was play with Daniel, and dad would still be alive. I fucked up my whole family. Moral of the story? Play with your family. It'll save them from neighbor assholes. Hey, it's gonna be and hard. cops? Take a deep breath. It's not your fault. You don't have control over all this stuff. You can't blame yourself for everything that happens in this world. You're gonna be okay, Sean. How? My life feels like... Like that town down there. Wiped out. Destroyed. Yeah, so it is Arcadia Bay. Empty. Like I have nothing. And as you can see, the choice I made at the beginning. What is sure is, that's the past. But you can't look back now. You've got each other. And you have to move forward. Why? Oh, well, puppy. What you and your brother have is the most important thing. He needs you. And you need him. I can tell he doesn't know what happened. Sean, at some point, you're gonna have to tell him. I know. I just have to find the right time. Take there is not going to be a right time. Address it, the better. Yeah. There's no such thing as a right time to tell somebody, Oh, by the way, Dad's dead. It's not gonna be easy. So, so then, what's your plan? Where are you going? Good question. I was thinking... Get out of the country? Fuck it. Go down to Mexico, you know? <laughs> Damn. I thought I was the long-haul traveler. Should I go back? Yes. To Seattle? Yes. I can try and explain everything. What happened? You should do what you think is best. If going to Mexico seems like the right thing to do, then so be it. You're going in the right direction. You have family there? Probably. We don't even have family in the U.S. 
If you don't have family in the U.S., you probably have, uh... What about your mom? No. No way. She's... out of the picture. But Dad, he always talked about this plot of land he owns in this little coast town, Puerto Lobos. That's a pretty cool name. So it's gotta be great. Okay, so you've still got a long ways to go. We've shot the shit long enough. Time to hit the road. For all the souls lost in Arcadia Bay storm, Listen, time I'll won't forget you about you. Oh, that's good. That's good. You guys could use some time to yourselves. If you haven't played Life is Strange 1, that would be a direct reference to the fact that the main character can uh, has time-related powers. If you have, I have just wasted 10 seconds of your life. And that satisfies me. Yeah, the Pacific Ocean. Ah, the puppy. <laughs> okay, mushroom, you can chase me. Then chop. Um, uh, no. Come, see if you can catch me. Ow! <laughs> I wonder if this dog has gotten any of his shots, or her shots, should I say? Can play fetch. Let's look at the sand castle. Not very good, uh, uh, like structurally sound. Glad to see him act like a kid again. How will I tell him? Hey, let's play fetch with the pup. Really? Yes. Let me do a test throw first. Cool? Well, okay. But I'm next. Okay, puppy. Go wide. Come on, Mushroom. Get it! Go, Mushroom. And then they lose the stick. And then he's like, you know that stick that's gone now? That's, that's our dad. <laughs> There's no easy way. It's like a band-aid you just have to pull off. What did you find? You just killed a shark. <laughs> you deadly mushroom. She's awesome. Now huh. she wants me to throw the stick. Okay, here. <laughs> Watch how fast she'll get the stick. <laughs> you go for it. Just don't throw it too far. I won't. I swear. I mean, throws it into the Atlantic. No, that's not even the next ocean over. like these two are getting along. It's good to see him like that. Well, I got you that room. Seriously? I... It's only a room. No big deal. Look, I had tough times when I started out. And some strangers saved my life. Thank you. Hmm. Now's my turn to help someone. To pay it it's forward. Right there, room 10. On the second floor. Will the... Does the Listen, motel accept pets? I don't want to freak you out. Okay, but you have to be twice as careful now. I know it's easier said than done, but you should get rid of that phone. Really? really? You can always get a burner later. Uh, okay, yeah. And Sean, talk to Daniel. He deserves Chloe, to... You're not leaving, are you? Yes, I am, but... Not until Santa Brody gives you a goodbye gift. Is it Choco Crisps? I mean, oh, it's just a backpack. And don't you dare argue about it. I'll leave it right here if you do. Okay. 
You win. Thanks, Brody. Does the backpack have Choco Crisps inside? Because if it doesn't... Oh, this okay. means that both uh, of them get backpacks. Here, looks like it's yours now. As always. <laughs> Hold on. I didn't forget you. I've had it since my first road trip. And it's always kept me safe. Now it's yours. Cool. Um, do you think it's okay if she wears it? Like, our official guard dog? <laughs> sure. It's your bandana now. But then episode two is like three years later. Okay. That would be weird if, like, it, this story had, like, really big time progressions. Hey, don't look so sad. You can contact me on my blog. A oh. Tribe called West. So okay. You better keep me posted. When That's kind of cool. Okay. We will. Thanks again, Brody. <laughs> ah, bro hug. <laughs> Wish you could stay with us. Me too, kid. Uh, sorry, I'll probably think of a better goodbye when I'm on the road, but until then, take care, my dudes. Yeah, we're 44 miles away from Arcadia Bay, according to that sign. That is currently blurry right now. Oh, there it goes. The town is gone. Okay. But the mile counters still Time remain. To hit the sack. Don't worry, Mushroom. I got you. Okay. Oh. Um. A, uh, sleep mask? A raccoon sweater. There's the camping supplies. We're getting a lot of stuff, actually. Whoa. Sean, I'm a better writer than I'm a speaker. That's why I'm writing this letter while you and Daniel are asleep in the car. I'm sorry that I can't take you further, but there's a good reason to it. As dysfunctional as it can be. Oh. Family is family. When we met, I was on my way to Utah, where my mom is currently losing her battle against cancer, and I have to be there. You'll find a few dollars in the backpack. That's all the cash I have left, but you need it more than me. Your goal is good, and you need to follow your instinct. Please be careful and protect your butt brother, no matter what. You'll see when you tell him the truth about Seattle that sharing the same pain will make you stronger together, eventually. When you get to Mexico, keep a low profile until you meet people you can truly rely on. In any case, I think you'll be safer there than you are here. A dead cop in the current state of things cannot be a good way to start negotiations. I wish I could have met you two under better circumstances, but I'm glad I could help you the best way I could. Take care, Brody. P.S. Hit me up when you're safe. A tribe called West. I'm always online when I'm not driving. Been a while since I've used a pen. Hope you decipher. Luckily, there is a read function. Because that definitely helped with his cursive. My cursive is long gone. I can tell you that. Puerto Lobos. Alright, and now we've traveled a little bit south. And I got the shark tooth, which I can add on. But I believe we're in room 10, okay. I think. Good. Looks like the manager's asleep for the night. Shouldn't have any trouble from them. On the second floor. Do you think it will have Netflix or a jacuzzi? Dude, this is some hotel, not an Airbnb. If we're lucky, it'll have cable and a hot shower. That is a well-behaved dog. Ooh, 
Andy. Check it out. It even has a bathtub. <laughs> Good. I'm gonna throw you in, cave boy. We can watch TV, too. And there's a balcony. Whoa, this is nice. And warm. Yeah, I can charge my phone. Convenient. <sighs> this bed is soft. What about this one? Uh, not bad. But too far from the TV. Can I take the one in front of the TV? Huh? Wanna play it over rock, paper, scissors? Oh, there's no way you can beat me, bud. Ready? Okay. So um... Uh, rock. Oh, yeah. Shoot. I told you, man. Can we play another round? Come on. Ah, uh, sure. I mean, you're gonna lose again, but. And I plan on giving him the bed in front of the TV anyway. So, so scissors. Oh, Damn it. Ty. Ah, oh, come on. So paper. Damn it! <laughs> the pet is mine. I knew I'd beat you. See? And I knew you'd brag about it. Don't be salty. It's a fair win. Yeah, it is. And then he That's turns better. on the TV, and it's right. automatically on the I'm news. Run a bath. We totally reek. Especially you, Pigpen. I would have. Oh been so no! Short, it's hot dog boy. man. I'll call you when it's ready. Uh, I'll be right here. Of course you will. Oh, cool! Hot dog man is on. Oh, I remember this episode. Weird, it's on so late. I used to be all over that show, too. At least it's keeping Daniel busy. Hey, can you turn that down, please? Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Sean! Room 10. I found it. No shit, Sherlock Diaz. So, what's up? The buns want to catch Hot Dog Man and turn him into sausage meat. Uh... Oh, yeah. The giant meatball attacks in the next episode, right? Yes. And they get to meet the city mayo. <sighs> Man, it's been ages. Okay, Hot Dog Man is just Hot filled Dog with Man. mystery. I'm too old, dude. And I've seen it so many times. <laughs> okay, Grandpa Sean. Feels so good to sit down and watch TV. <laughs> True. Okay. Uh, okay, that's enough hot dog, man. You're missing the best part. I know, but I gotta take care of the bath. Don't forget you're up soon. I know. Thanks for everything, Brody. Oh, okay. I'll be extra careful. So he pulls out the uh, handwritten oh, shit, note anyway. That was wild. But we have a tent now. This episode is awesome. You should sit down and watch it with me. <sighs> yeah. Don't think we'll be coming back this way. Yeah, free Wi-Fi, though. All right, let's start up the bath. As this episode is going on a little bit farther than I expected, I thought it would just end with uh, them on the road, but... Um, is there nothing for me to interact with? Or is the light switch... On the outside of the room. What kind of madness is that? Who would put the light switch on the outside? Make it a bubble bath? Fill her up. Ugh. Yuck, Sean. It's a condom in my bag. Gross. Hey, don't touch that. 
Uh, it's not a used condom. Add a little bit of soap. Daniel will love this. The bubble bat. The bubbles will dis will uh distract him from his tears. Ah, damn! That fucking redneck hit me hard. I hit him harder though. And that's really what's the point. Ah, bubbles. Hey Daniel, bath's ready. What? Already? Can I finish this episode first? <laughs> no, man. You smell so bad. There's no time to lose. Oh. Look, let let the puppy sleep. Hey, you smell too. Oh my god. Whoa. So many bubbles. Try and keep them in the bathtub. I will. Promise. Thanks. And no, the dog is not taking a bath with you. Okay, okay. Don't worry. I should throw my phone away while Daniel is washing. He'd freak out if he saw me. Time to say goodbye to modern life. Hmm. Does he check his phone one last time? Oh, shit. Lily's freaking out. Maybe I should leave her out of this, or she'll get into trouble too. Yeah, leave her out of it. Are those videos of his dad? A bit of a harsher cut than I expected, but uh, what should I have expected? Right now? You said I could have a Coke. From where? Okay, I'll get you a soda. But when I come back, we're going to talk. Serious. Fine. What's the big deal? All right. Now to find a vending... Oh, I got 30 bucks now. I'm guessing that while I'm gone, he'll have checked uh, the news.
Yep. I'm guessing the. Daniel. Yeah. yeah. He didn't even need to say his name. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. Daniel! What's happening? Daniel, calm down! You lied! Dad! Your dad is dead! Why? It, it was an accident. A, a cop fucked up and shot him. That's it. I'm so sorry. Why? Why did you lie to me? I was scared, Daniel. I didn't know what to say. You should have told me. I couldn't believe it either. I didn't mean to. It's not fair. Hey, come on. I'm here. It's okay. No, it's not. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> you told me we were gonna see you, Dad. I'm sorry. I just... Just don't lie to me ever again. Ever. I promise I won't lie to you again. I promise. I mean, you can't say that you're going to try not to lie. I know. Because that, that implies that you might lie. Me too, Dan. Uh, even if you are going to lie later, you have to lie? still promise you're not going to lie. That's, um, it's gonna that's be okay. uh, very healthy advice. It's going to be okay. Nothing is wrong with you. Ah, oh, they're actually talking about the superpowers. Different. Okay. What are we gonna do now? I was thinking... Maybe we could go to Puerto Lobos. Where Dad grew up, you know? Yeah, I guess. It'll be fine, Daniel. There's nothing we can't do. As long as we're together. Can you tell me a story? Like he did? I'm not as good as him. I can draw you a story. Just, uh... Just sit back and watch me sketch this for like the next five hours. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home there with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together. But, but one day, took their dad away. Forever. So now the brothers were alone. And they had to find a new home. They started a journey. I don't know. His story could use a bit more character development.
So that was uh, episode one of Life is Strange 2. Um, now, so far, so far, so good. Um, now, I suppose uh, I, I did mention the idea that, I, like, I still feel that their attempt to just escape their problems is not necessarily the best thing to do. But then on the other hand, like, I think, like, there are certain aspects of this of the incident that they'd be able to explain. Um, like, they're not in fault for the death of the father, but if they did stay behind, then it is likely that uh, Sean would be arrested and possibly uh, put on trial as an adult uh, for the manslaughter of uh, their neighbor, if I'm going to base it on current politics. Um, so then that would then leave with Daniel essentially uh, getting tossed around in foster care, and then there are also his powers. Like, how do you explain uh, the explosion that's called caused? So foster care would essentially be the best case scenario for him. Worst case scenario is that kind of footage gets looked at by other government agencies, and then he gets examined for whatever uh, superpowers he happens to have. So... It is very possible that... Even though I might argue that that is probably the easiest solution... I guess technically that is the easiest solution. It requires the less work, uh, the least amount of work on their part. Um, now... There is a possibility that if uh, Sean gets a decent lawyer, the, the lawyer could then argue that uh, he was defending himself. Like, he didn't try to cause Brett to die. Or, that's what I'm assuming. I'm assuming Brett died. Uh, at He didn't cause that to happen uh, through his own, uh, own desire to cause that. Uh, he was defending himself. He was defending his brother, of whom uh, Brett did attack. Unfortunately, there are no witnesses to this, so... There also might be issues that might crop up because they did flee from the scene. So there really wouldn't be as much evidence to kind of back up their view of the, of the crime. And again, then there's the explosion. I don't think anybody can really explain that at this time. So, maybe the road is the best place for them? At the very least, it is the most interesting place for them. Uh, because if they stood stayed behind, there'd be a lot of risk for them to get screwed off. Eh, let's speed that up. Alright, let's see what other people did. Ah, more people were selfish. They kept the Choco Crisp for themselves. I gave it to Dad. But I didn't lie to Esteban. It's a lie to my dad. I wasn't going to spend that money on, on weed. Gave my dad a hug. I didn't steal money from the jar. Which, in retrospect, I probably could have because I would have had more money out of that. I confronted Brett. Most people did that. Mm, a little bit over half stole the Choco Crisp. Most people didn't beg for food. I didn't steal from the gas station, but I did steal the camping gear. Those are separate thefts. I did not call Lila back. Most people did. And I promised I wouldn't lie to him. 
which was pretty, let's see, let's see, Daniel learned about trailblazing. Only 2% of people didn't learn about that. He didn't fall in the woods. He fetched wood for the fire, lost the wood race. Most people didn't even do the wood race. Interesting. He did not learn how to skip stones. Oh, he had an okay night, but he could have gotten sick from berries, and he <laughs> could have gotten scared of your own stories. Ugh. He didn't have to beg, and he didn't distract Doris. He didn't eat enough. That's true. He didn't get the Power Bear toy because we needed money. But he did steal some. Oh, there's actually a situation which he wouldn't have stolen the dog. Wait, Daniel stole something from Brody? What did he steal? Was I not paying attention to that part? Huh. All right. Come on, man. Focus. Okay. Trust me. You can do it. Thank you for watching. Questions, comments, recommendations for something to play next? Comment down below or send it on over to it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. That's it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. So long for now.